Good day everyone and welcome to Silai City. My name is Romela Amoroso and I will be your virtual tour guide for today. As I tour you around our majestic city, you will experience the beauty of the century-old mansions, the relaxing view of nature, the local food and delicacies that you would love to indulge in, and of course, the fun and excitement of our festivities. As you enter Silay, you will be welcomed by a replica of the chimney of the Máquina de Vapor de Hurno de Económico, a steam engine machine used to produce the best variety of sugar. Now we have arrived at our first destination, Magic Land, the very first theme park here in Negros Occidental, built with highest possible safety standards. We are now entering the Heritage District of Silay. Dubbed as a museum city, Silay has 29 heritage houses identified by the National Historical Commission as our architectural landmarks. Over there is the House of Emma Luxon, famous for her lumpia ubo de Silay, empanada, panara, and one of my favorite Silay non desserts, the Billy Square. This is the House of Leandro Luxin national artist for architecture and designer of the biggest palace in the world owned by the Sultan of Brunei. Now we have arrived at the Cinco de Noviembre marker and on this very site, a drugstore is located. Some 300 Ashenda workers gathered in front of this drugstore 122 years ago before attacking the Spanish garrison on November 5, 1898. The Spaniards surrendered to the Silainons, and that was the start of the victorious bloodless revolution in Negros Occidental. The enormous house over here is the Balay Negrense Museum. This is the biggest mansion in Silay, built by Don Victor Fernandez Gaston. Every June and November, the Balay Negrense grounds serve as the venue of the Kaunta Silay Food Festival where heirloom and local cuisines are all made available for everyone to enjoy. Aside from Balay Negrense, the Ramon Hofilenia and the Don Bernardino Museums are also ancestral houses converted into lifestyle museums. Other heritage houses here in Salai are still inhabited by the descendants of the owner while some are now being used as government offices or business establishments. We call this adaptive reuse. We are now at the Salai City Hall and in front you will see a replica of Molino de Sangre featuring how Muscovado sugar is cooked. Over there is the Senator Jose Siloxin Cultural and Civic Center, the first cultural center in the Philippines which houses our dwellers and other musical concerts. This is the San Diego Pro Cathedral, built in 1925 by an Italian architect Lucio Bernasconi. This is the only pro cathedral outside Metro Manila that resembles the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome. Your visit to Salai will not be complete without eating our native delicacies. Here in Salai Public Market, delicacies like piaya, lupia ubod, empanada, bukupay, panara, and many more are freshly made every day. Our gustatory adventure does not end yet because we have just arrived at Barangay Balaring, the seafood capital of Sulay. Aside from the seafood restaurants, Barangay Balaring also offers a stunning view of Mother Nature. We are now at Balaring Mangrove Eco Park. This is the Sulay Outdoor Recreation and Ecotourism Area, better known as Sureta. This is the gateway to the North Negros Natural Park. Barangay Patag is the best place for hikers as Pulang Tubig, Dumalabdab, Manipis Falls, and Tinagong Dagat are located here. After this pandemic, I hope that you will lift Sulay in your top destinations to visit because I assure you that as you fly back to your respective hometowns, you will bring with you the best memorable experiences only Sulay City can offer. And that's the end of our virtual tour. Again, I am Romela Amoroso, and I hope you enjoyed our quick trip here in Salai City. Ascenso Salai, Ascenso Sampanimalai.